What if I told you that everything you're seeing here has been done in vanilla Minecraft? That not a single mod has been used to make this work. Well, I present to you the Space Race Data Pack. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Data Pack Showcase. And today, we got my greatest data pack of all time, the Space Race Data Pack. And you saw it in the intro, this one is pretty insane. You can build your own rocket and travel to outer space. Now at the moment it's still very early in development, so I've only got the moon and Mars to explore. And I do also have to say that it may be a little buggy, so uh, think about that when installing it in your world. But with that said, let's just build our first rocket. And there we go. It may not be the best rocket, but it can definitely take us to the moon. Now, it looks pretty good for now, but we're definitely need to get to add some rocket engines and some fuel tanks and all of that. So, let's grab those and uh, put them on our rocket. Okay, so we're gonna need uh, one rocket core, which is crafted like this. Um, a bunch of connectors. Oh, I ran out of iron. Then uh, some fuel tanks. Um, two will do for going to the moon. And uh, a bunch of oxygen tanks. And of course, uh, some engines. You have the big rocket engines and you have the small rocket engines. And lastly, we're gonna need the rocket controller, which is crafted like this. Okay, now let's place in our rocket engines. I'm just gonna use nine of the big ones, um, like so. Then uh, I'm going to go inside and I need to place down my rocket core. This is going to be the middle of the rocket. Uh, so I'm also gonna place it somewhere in the middle, like over here. Uh, then I'm going to just open this space again real quick and add two fuel tanks and two oxygen tanks. And now uh, to connect it all up, you basically grab your connector and attach it to all your blocks and to the rocket core. And uh, to know if something is connected is really simple. For the rockets, uh, you can see that they light up and the fuel tanks uh, only one of them needs to be connected and then every tank in the vertical direction will be automatically connected so even if i put it up here now this one may not be connected but because it's above another one that is connected it will work now last but not least we're going to grab ourselves a rocket controller and it should light up indicating that it's connected correctly and i'm just going to close this off for now now, if you take a look in the rocket controller, you can see a few different things. You'll see the fuel tank, the oxygen tank, the navigator, and the assemble button. The oxygen tank will be filling up if you're on Earth, um, but not if you're on the moon or on Mars. The fuel tank, you will have to fill up manually. And uh, over here with these arrows, you can switch between your destination. Now, for now, we're gonna go to the moon, so I'll have that selected. And if we hover above this arrow, you can see the energy we need and the engine power we need. The engine power is really simple. For every big rocket engine, you get 15 engine power. And for every small rocket engine, you get 10. And to go to the moon, you simply need 20 uh, engine power. Uh, so either two small uh, rocket engines or uh, two of the big ones or mix them a, a little bit. Doesn't really matter. Now for the fuel, uh, we're gonna need to fill it with, well, a fuel. Um, and if you're on Earth and haven't visited the Moon or Mars yet, the only fuel that will be available for you will be vegetable oil. Now, vegetable oil is very easy to craft. You simply need one water bottle, a pumpkin seed, a beetroot seed, and a sunflower. So all renewable items, and then you get yourself a vegetable oil. Now, simply go back to the rocket controller. There we go. And place it in the fuel slot and you will see it go up. Now, we're simply gonna add, need to add enough for the, this value, for the uh, energy. As you can see, it's now at 399. It needs to be at least 4,000. Now, if you're going to the moon, it's really easy to know uh, when you have enough because you need two fuel tanks, which is uh, 10,000 millibuckets, and you just need to fill it to the brim. 
So let me quickly do that. And in a survival playthrough, you're going to need about 31 uh, vegetable oils to do this. And there we go, the last one. And as you can see, 31 glass bottles left. And we have 4,000 out of 4,000 gigajoules required. So now we have everything for the rocket to go to the moon. However, we of course need to protect ourselves. Uh, we need to have an oxygen tank and we need to uh, wear armor, of course. So let's do that. So we are going to need one copper spacesuit, which is crafted like so. One copper space helmet. Uh, then any other armor will be fine. So uh, I'm going to choose an iron leggings and iron boots. And then lastly, we need to craft two buckets so we can make ourselves an oxygen tank, a portable oxygen tank. Then we can go back to the rocket controller, put our portable oxygen tank inside of here. And as you can see, it's going to start to fill up. Now, of course, if you're on a different planet and not on Earth, uh, it will drain the oxygen that's inside of here. Um, but otherwise, uh, if you're on the Earth, it doesn't matter. You can fill it up as much as you want. And there we go, it's filled up. So we take it out. And then what we can do is we can put it in our offhand, uh, hold our copper spacesuit, and then shift, right click. And now it's gonna be put inside of the copper spacesuit. And to take it out, you simply do the same thing, shift, right click. Now, with all of that explained done, we can put on our spacesuit and uh, head on to space. Now, to launch our rocket, simply go into your rocket controller and hit assemble rocket. But before you do, Make sure that no part of the rocket is touching the actual ground. Otherwise, it may accidentally assemble with the ground. Of course, it can't with uh, grass. I already prevented it from doing that. But uh, if it does, that will be a problem. Uh, now, there is this special block, the launch pad, which is crafted like so. And that block will never stick to the rocket. Okay, so let's try this out. Hit assemble rocket. And you should see that happen and then display in chat that it, has, it assembled the rocket. And you shouldn't be able to break any of the blocks. And now the last thing you need to do is make sure you're inside your rocket and hit the launch button. And there we go, we have reached the moon. Now we simply need to wait for it to land and then we can start exploring this place. And well, here we are. Now take a look at this place, isn't it beautiful? The gray tones and everything. Oh, it's a pleasure for my eyes. Now of course you can also see the beautiful earth from here, uh, but for the rest, there's not really much to see. Now, there are of course a few cool properties that the moon has. To start off, look at the gravity. I'm sort of floating. Another one is that if you grab yourself a water bucket and place it down, it will turn into ice. And not just normal ice, packed ice. So this is a great way of getting ice if you're not at a, one of those packed ice biomes. Now, the last thing that the moon has to offer is, well, oil. I know, it sounds a little weird, but, uh, well, that's just how I made it work. Now, simply dig down in the ground and uh, you may stumble upon oil. It generates uh, below minus 40, so you may have to dig down uh, for a while to find it. Ah, there we go. I found myself some oil. So now, you simply grab yourself a bucket. I'm gonna grab a few. And then, uh, this is oil moon rock. So once you right click it, it'll turn back into the normal moon rock. And then look at that, there's some more behind it. And there we go. So this vein had eight oil buckets. And now what we can do is we can return back to our spaceship. And then we can go to the rocket controller and we can put inside the oil buckets. Now, oil buckets uh, provide 800 gigajoules and as you can see to go from the moon to mars requires 6000 but now that isn't the only use for oil if you grab uh, yourself some blocks i'm just going to grab some glass and build a little uh, place for the oil to go inside 
you will notice it has a very special property. It has sort of actual physics. So if I add some more oil, you can see it's going to start filling and then uh, eventually it's completely full. And if I add some more, you will see it spill out and uh, flow everywhere. Now, I will warn you that this may be a big mess to clean up. Because if you grab yourself some buckets, you can see that if you pick it up, uh, you're only going to pick up like half or, or, or in this uh, case, an eighth of the oil layer. Now, that was everything you could find on the moon, but we're not done yet. We, of course, still have Mars to explore. So uh, let's uh, select Mars as our destination. And well, we can uh, launch our rocket. And uh, here we are. We've landed on Mars. Now, I do think Mars is one of the better looking planets as there's uh, more variety in the terrain. It's not as flat as on the moon. And of course, it's not that great. Now, um, let's have a look at the different things you can do on Mars. But first, let me show you something important. As we've been in creative all the time, our oxygen tank hasn't gone down. However, if I put myself in survival mode, you can see that it's gonna start going down. And you have about, I think, half an hour um, of oxygen. But if you do plan on staying for a longer time, I recommend bringing another portable oxygen tank because, well, if we, uh, if we were in survival and I would take off my uh, spacesuit, you can see that I'm going to start to die. Now, another thing is that if you plan on staying on Mars, uh, you may not want to jump so high every time. Uh, I mean, it's fun, but it can get annoying. So for that, you can place down a crafting table and craft yourself some heavy boots. And if you equip these, they'll give you the same gravity as you have in the overworld. So now, what is there actually to do on Mars? Well, besides enjoying the beautiful terrain, uh, you can dig down in the ground and find a brand new ore. Now, here we have found it, and uh, they may not be that common, but once you find it, you may start to see that it's a giant clump uh, made of stuff called feldspar. Um, and if you destroy this in survival, so I'll grab myself a pickaxe, uh, you'll see that it drops uh, feldspar dust, and even in uh, even with silk touch, it won't uh, drop the actual block. However, you can craft it back into feldspar. Now, as you can see, this is just a simple iron uh, vein. Uh, so you find about I think 40 to 60 iron uh, in each of these feldspar veins. And they are also very big, so if you grab yourself a fortune pickaxe, uh, you'll get yourself a bunch of iron. But this actually isn't the new ore I'm talking about. There's one more ore that's also found in these feldspar veins, which contains something that will be used in the rest of this data pack. Here we go, I found another one, and I think... Yeah, look at that. This is the one I'm talking about. If you mine this, you will find yourself this very new raw ore, and it's raw aluminium. Now then what you can do is grab yourself a furnace, put the raw aluminium in there, and then you will get the custom ingot in this data pack, the aluminium ingot. There we go, we got it. Now this item will be used in uh, a lot of recipes in the future. Uh, to, for example, to go to Venus, you may need to protect yourself from the uh, toxicity. Uh, and to go to further planets, you may need to build a better engine. But for now, aluminium only has one use, and that is crafting the integrated circuit. And this is the item that will uh, be required in a lot of crafting recipes. Now, the last thing you can also do if you want is go back to your rocket and hit the disassemble button. And as you can see, this may take a little while, but now your entire rocket is uh, turned back into normal blocks. So you can alter it, you can add more fuel tanks, etc. But with that said, that is the entire data pack for now. I will be expanding on this way more in the future. And uh, well, if you uh, really want to download it, there will be a download link in the description. Now, I also have one very big tip for if you're in creative mode. Uh, you probably don't want to craft all of the items every time. So you can type slash loot, give, at s, loot, 
SPECS, which stands for Space Exploration, colon, block, slash, creative supply crate. And this block uh, has all the items this data pack has to offer in it. Uh, also with the filled state, so you don't have to fill it manually. So if you're playing creative, this is going to be uh, very helpful. Now, if you have any cool suggestions uh, that I should add in this data pack, make sure to join my Discord server and head on to the ideas channel. And if I think your idea is a good idea, then I may even add it to this data pack. Now, with that said, this is the end of the video. If you liked the video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see future updates to this data pack and maybe even different data packs, make sure to subscribe. And uh, well, I'll see you in the next one.